Hello, hello, and welcome back to Core. So, we are, we are back. We are hopefully going to be doing some exercising with Mike. And you know, cause he, he's the best boy, right? So we're, of course we're hanging out with Mike. Look, we're wearing matching shirts. We're gonna, we're gonna be the, the boyfriends. It's gonna be great. You know how it is. <clears throat> As he says that, he leans forward, trying to touch the tips of his shoes with his hands. I follow his example, reaching <clears throat> reaching them without a problem. Right. You're more flexible than, uh, than me. Uh, you'll have an easier time uh, uh, for now, then. Perks of being a ferret, I guess. Does that really matter? We're always uh, taught that our species doesn't really matter in the long run. I'm not sure. But it's true that it doesn't uh, stop anyone from doing anything. I'm sure there's ferrets out there who can't even um, bend their backs without cracking. <laughs> That'd be funny to see. Why would that be funny? Are you being speciesist, Mike? Every day. Come on! I I didn't mean it like that. I thought of I thought of you, all old and wrinkly, asking for my help to reach something from the floor. Oh ho, huh. so, what are we, living together in this hypothetical old age? Maybe. You can't deny that wouldn't be fun. Also, I'm, Im I'm immortal and forever young in this scenario. That gets a chuckle out of me. I have to get it. <laughs> I give it to him. Anyway, we're done stretching. Wait, what? I must have uh, distracted... Wait, he must have distracted me with all this chatting, because I barely noticed we were, well, stretching. I guess the fact that I'm, um, flexible helps. Yeah, time to get to work, but first... Yes, good, good. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're, we're, uh as he's, uh, talking, he unzips the, the shirt he's wearing and slides it off his shoulders, uh, dropping it on top of his shoes. He, I look at him confused. I mean, I guess it's normal to be shirtless on the beach, but I wasn't expecting him to do that. Come on, you should do it too. What? Why? Are you perhaps shy like Hector? Why? Don't you mean... Uh, wait, do you want to see me shirtless that bad, Mike? He chuckles again, uh, done with his teasing. To begin with, running barefoot on the sand is better than running on a normal surface. Uncomfortable until you get used to it, but, uh, uh, to be fair, but good. Alright, but the shirt? Because it's, um, going to be fucking hot, Robert. If you want to sweat under it, be my guess. Well, right, uh, you could have st you could have started there. I sigh before following his advice, undressing until I'm only wearing my pants. It feels weird not wearing a shirt when there are other people on the beach, but... It's something I have to get used to. Admittedly, those are not the best pants to exercise in, Rob. Uh, this'll have to do. I'm not going back to the house to change my pants now. If it was at night when it's darker, I'd say it's totally fine to run in your underwear. Come on, Mike, what's next? Skinny dipping in the sea? He doesn't really an answer immediately, so I give him a, a dead serious look. He shakes his... He shakes his hands, but smiles. What? It's on my to-do list. But if all you are... Wait, uh, but if all... All of you are going to be prudes about it, I'll do it one day when no one's around. My god, Mike. I've never met someone who hates, uh, wearing clothes as much as you. I don't hate it. <clears throat> but I'm comfortable with my body, so why not experience new things with it? In other words, you're an exhibitionist. Got it. No, Robert! Don't be like that! Now I'm the one chuckling, and he comes closer to me, a smirking and wraps an arm around my shoulders, a ruffling the hair between my ears. You jerk! Come on! Let me get moving. Let's get moving, or we'll just chat forever. Wait, what about our clothes? Are, um, we going to just leave them here? Who's gonna steal two pairs of shoes and a couple shirts? I open my mouth to respond, but he might have a point. And Marlin, sure, you leave something somewhere, and chances are it'll be gone in five minutes or less. But in core, nah, besides, 
As far as I can tell, uh, we're the only ones on the beach right now. Well, uh, well, alright. But if uh, they're not here when we get back, uh, you're buying me new clothes. I'll take it as a chance to buy you more elegant clothes, then. More elegant clothes? I try to ask him, but he's already decided to not waste more time uh, jogging away from me. Shit, I, I wasn't ready. It takes me a moment to get used to um, running through the sand. And just as Mike said, it's um, almost uncomfortable, but I guess that's the point. I'm catching up to him, though I'm pretty sure he is uh, running slower so he can uh, do this with me. I appreciate it, but it, but it makes me feel weaker for some reason. Is there something wrong with my clothes? Huh? No, why? Because you said you'd buy me better clothes. Not better, just more elegant. Like, your clothes uh, look good on you, but they're... He takes a second to breathe, but also, I'm sure he's thinking his uh, next words carefully. No offense, but they're a bit plain, Rob. You could wear a button-up shirt or uh, some black jeans. I, I like comfortable clothes, and that's rich coming from you. Hey, I wear comfortable clothes because I exercise a lot. What's your excuse? Mm, that I like them? I don't need an excuse. Huh, oh, that's something I really like about you. You know what you like, man. For some reason, I wasn't expecting such an honest compliment, so I find myself blushing as I try to keep the rhythm up. A part of me wants to continue the conversation, but I can already tell I'm running out of air for uh, trying... Yeah, for trying to chat as I run through this uh, fucking annoying sand. I'm not sure how long we run, I run for, but it feels like an eternity by the time we stop. I place my hand on my knees, uh, feeling myself um, sweating a, a fair bit. I guess it's a good thing I'm not wearing my shirt right now. I look up to see Mike drinking uh, some from a, a small bottle of water that he'd been he'd taken from one of his pockets. He notices me staring, and after, a drink, after drinking half of it, he steps over to me. You want some? It looks like you need it more than me. I'm not that tired, just uh, not that used to running around, and these pants just don't make it easy. So you do want, so you don't want any water then. He smirks as I shoot a uh, shark glare at him. Reaching for the water and chugging the rest of it, uh, a few a quick, in a few quick gulps. Well, calm down. We only ran for ten minutes. I have another one, but... I poke my tongue out at him as I finish drinking. Sorry, man. I'll buy you another one later. So, I'm not super tired, but could we stop for a bit? I can feel how uh, he's, all, he's about to say already, but he doesn't. Instead, he nods and sits on the sand. I follow his example, sitting next to him. God, now that we're uh, close to each other, I can tell how much he's uh, radiating heat because of the sweat. It's not disgusting to me, but it's like sitting next to a heater while on the beach. I have to say, I love this, Rob. This whole place. Core is so different from the city. No, I'd love to come here more often. Well, nothing's stopping us from doing so, I think. I'd like that, too. He doesn't continue the conversation. Surprisingly, instead, he stares at the sea in silence. He looks at peace. <coughs> Mike always has such a... Always has such honest expressions. It's like he uh, never hides how he feels. I wonder if I'll uh, ever have an easier time with that. I try, but... What about a vest? Oh, with a uh, white buttoned uh, white button shirt? And a black tie. It takes me a moment to realize he's back on the subject of what I could wear, uh, looking at me with that honest smile of his. That sounds like a lot of work. I don't even know how to wear a tie. I could help you. I bet it, uh, I'd uh, make you. It'd make you look more handsome. The fact that he says he said more handsome doesn't go unnoticed, I'm making my cheeks heat up slightly. We tease each other sometimes, but he sounds genuine then. He sounded uh, genuine then. It sounds like you should uh, focus on your own looks if you ask me. <laughs> Youch. He lets out a loud laugh, making me giggle. 
Honestly, I could. But I think elegant clothes uh, wouldn't look as good on me as they would on you. I mean, my personality doesn't match that. But you, you could totally rock them. <laughs> Come on now, you're making me feel like I'm super attractive or something. I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, sure. If you're, um, if you ask me, uh, you look like a, a little too average. <laughs> yeah, ouch. But you have charm, you know. You're friendly, outgoing. People can rely on you. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I think that's hot. Alright, he's being a goof, but uh, what he just said is making me blush. I guess, I mean, I'd uh, say you have more of a chance than me. Huh? You think so? Yes, you're very positive, always smiling and um, being friendly with everyone. You're also charming. You care about your friends, and you have a nice body than yeah, a nicer body than mine. So yeah, that. I realize I might have overdone it with my point, but I can tell even Mike is blushing. I'm not used to seeing him blush. Huh. I didn't know you had a uh, you had me on such a high pedestal. Glad to hear. And in a way you're right. I know my strengths. After all, people like confidence, and I have plenty to share. You've gotten me in a few. Uh, you, wait, you have uh, gotten me in a few. Interesting situations in the past. Oh, finally, we're going to talk about your, uh, your conquests. We could talk about yours, but I, uh, but I kind of know them already. He smirks as he says that, and I'm glad he did it with uh, such a natural tone. Otherwise, it wouldn't have sat too well with me. But yeah, I even got in a threesome once. Wait, what? what? Uh, you went from zero to a thousand very very fast. You never seemed interested in these kind of conversations, so I never bothered. I guess that's true. Maybe Gus brings up the sub uh, bringing up the subject yesterday it did help me open up some more. He's an interesting guy. I'll give him that. So, uh, who did you do it with, then? I'm not entirely sure why I'm asking, asking him, since I probably don't know, but for some reason I feel excited to know. I feel a tickle inside of my stomach, as if I'm asking my first crush out. It feels childish, but I feel like I want to continue talking about this. He smiles again, although this time it feels a, a bit forced uh, for uh, some reason. I also hear a small tone that doesn't fit his usual sound, a, a misplaced key on a keyboard. What? Uh, do you want to know the details, too? Do you want to know if I'm a top or a bottom while you're at it? Bottom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or at least kind enough to let me top. Mike seems like the kind of guy. Uh, no, I mean, I could tell you. Uh, we talk at the same uh, we talk at the same time, and I'm too embarrassed to continue what I was saying. But he also doesn't continue. Instead, we just stare at each other. I'm I'm not sure what, um, but it feels like he's looking for something in me. It makes me feel vulnerable and almost in an exciting way. God, what am I? Fifteen again? If you're that thirsty, you should drink some more water. He smirks and as he says that, uh, pulling his other bottle out of of water out of his pocket and passing it to me. He uh, makes me chuckle as I, yeah, chuckle as I catch it. Nice save. I really don't know how the conversation would have continued otherwise. Fuck you. Who knows? You're acting like you're interested. Yeah, I choke on the water, water I'm drinking, uh, coughing. What is up with me? What is up with Mike? Uh, we joke about this, but this feeling's... But this feels so direct. Or maybe I'm the one who's being uh, su who's not being subtle at it. All right, we've taken enough of a break. We should couldn't con uh, continue exercising. Oh right, right. I try not to sound too disappointed, but I kind of am. What's up with me today? Mike stands up and offers his uh, hand to me. Wait, uh, his hand to help me up. And as, as I take it, he pulls me towards him, hugging me tightly, just like he used to. 
However, with the uh, timing and the um, previous conversation, I just feel like there might um, be more than a friendly hug here. Either that, or I'm uh, paying too much attention to the fact that we're both shirtless. Uh, calm down, Rob. There, a hug. So you have something to think about later. Mike, shut up. Okay, uh, no more teasing, I promise. Uh, it's just funny. I feel like complaining, but at this point, I feel... I uh, think he's just... um. <coughs> Uh, he'll just respond with more flirting and teasing, and I think for my sake, I shouldn't push any further. Uh, he jogs in place, warming up, and I follow his lead, heading back the way we came. Resting for, um, uh, yeah, resting for so long uh, made me forget how to run barefoot on the sand. In hindsight, maybe this break wasn't such a good idea. But it's cute, right? Okay, let me, let me adjust that real quick. Okay. I don't feel as tired as I was before uh, when we uh, reached the, reach the beach house. I'm not sure if it's because I got used to it or because this time I knew where we were going and that gave me strength, but I'm not complaining. We find our clothes where we were, uh, where they were, which makes me breathe easily. easily. Let's see, right where we left them. You're right, but next time we should head out like this, instead of uh, leaving clothes behind. So you're planning to join me again, huh? We'll see, but I could use the exercise, and this was fun. I try not to bring up the fact that a part of the fun was, talk was uh, talking closely with Mike, and he doesn't bring it up either. Good, exercise is fun and all. If only I could make Hector understand that too. The world would end before that happens. Once we're both uh, uh, pulled on, pulled on our, sh yeah, pulled on our shirts. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not reading this correctly. Also, didn't, didn't Mike have a zip up? Wouldn't that just be putting it on, not pulling it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We walk up the stairs to the uh, to the house and en house entering. It's completely silent. If Hector hadn't told us he was staying home, I would have thought we were alone. And Mike stretches his arms as he uh, walks into the living room, uh, turning around to look at me. So, what are you do going to do? I'm probably going to take a shower right now. I think I'll take a nap. Besides, I took a shower this morning, and too much water could, um, uh, could weaken my fur. Suit yourself, Stinky. But there's extra space in the bathtub if you uh, want to share. He's fucking with me. He's using that face he uses when he's when he's fucking with me. Uh, let me take a nap on the couch. I think, um, uh, I really don't think I'm safe if I sleep in that bed right now. And I don't want to, um, bother Hector. Got it. I'll try not to sing too loud, then. Please don't. I'm about to, uh, say something about kicking his ass in the shower. But with how much fun he's, um, having with teasing me, that's not the right thing to say right now. You're tired. I can see that. All right. I'll let you sleep. Rest well. The lion waves his hand as he steps into the into the uh, bedroom, uh, closing the door behind him. I'm alone in the living room now. I take I should uh, take the chance to have that nap now. I let myself drop on the couch, resting my back before um, pushing myself towards the center of my legs, the center so my legs don't hang from the arms. I do feel tired, but to be honest, I'm not sure if it's it's enough to take a nap. It's not like I have uh, something else to do. A silence fills the house for a few minutes before I hear the water from Mike's shower running. I yawn, trying to get myself to in the mood to sleep, but something's on my mind. I can't stop thinking about what Mike said before, and how he was uh, teasing me, hugging me like that. Telling me to uh, think about think about that later. <laughs> Jerk. It's definitely giving me something to think about, though. My body reacts uh, to these thoughts, and I can tell my cheeks are burning from excitement. I cover my face with one of my arms, a bit embarrassed, but uh, then look around. Mike is still taking a shower, I can hear it, and I'm pretty sure Hector is going to stay up in his room until everyone comes back. 
I feel guilty for feeling like for feeling and thinking like this, but technically, I have some alone time to myself. With all of us living here, I'm not sure if I have another chance like this. Aw. Aw. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Aw. I'll end the part here. <laughs> I'll see you around, everyone.